Hello, look at Garrett. Come on down. You're okay. Yeah, come on. It's okay. Are you driving, Garrett? There's Curtis in his new toy. <laughs> well, there's the kids playing. Are you gonna slide? Come on. This is the rabbit cake, or the bunny cake. And Garrett, oh, that looks good. Are you ready to eat the bunny? <laughs> get you a bite. Uh, get a bite of the ear now. Why don't you just cut the ear off and give it to him? He doesn't want, want us to cut it. <laughs> get red. Was it good? Yeah. <laughs> but you cannot have, you can't have Easter without coconut. How come that is? There's coconut on everything. All the, all the cupcakes. Curling his egg. Look there. See, this, this is the best kind for kids to do because they can do it themselves. Oh, we got a picture. Ooh, we got to go to church in the morning. Okay, you're Garrett dropped his egg. That got broke. That's okay. You know what that means, Garrett? <coughs> you can eat that one. That means you can eat that one tonight. What is that, Garrett? What is it? What you got? Egg. Uh -oh. Be real careful. Got you, Garrett. You can take your rabbit. Candy to church. I'm getting you, Garrett. I got your picture. Here we are at Lake Belton, Temple, Texas. Easter. And here's the fishermen and ladies. There's the fishermen. Curtis and Garrett. No, no. No, you stay over there. I'm taking a picture. Okay. Uh, Renee, you look at the camera. I'm just getting a good picture of all y'all. I didn't need that. Glenda. I got Glenda's picture in here. This is my Which one do you? The dark blue or the light blue? The light blue's Renee. The dark blue's Chris. This is Glenda's presence. This one's from Jackie, Dad, and me, and this one's from me. Okay. This is Jimmy's birthday present. Thank you. Well, they just started cutting the wheat. Cut a little bit. I got a little bit of wheat. There's another combine right over there. I'm just using those two. Well, it looks like they're about to get through out here. Well, it won't be long until they're finished here. It's not making very much per bushel, but the wheat is 664 today per bushel. Simba, I'm taking your picture. Simba! Puppy is sleeping well now. He's been outside playing. Yeah, I didn't know you was going to get a prison here now. Jackie and Simba together, and Simba's chewing the box. Well, as you can see, here it is, March 27th, and look what happened last night. It's not snow, though. It's sleet. And this is man with his pee. Oops. Puppy. This is man trying to take a picture of his puppy, but he can't because he won't stay away from him. Stop. Well. Uh, there he is, man and puppy, and it's leading right on me right now. Okay, here's puppy. Here is our puppy. Didn't that find the dog? Okay, go get it. 
<laughs> Look, Garrett. Isn't that a sweet puppy? Here comes <laughs> Ogna. And this is what he usually does. Climb on people. Well, he reads the paper, see? You too tired to speak? You're flying the kite? No. Not flying too good? Whoa! That's flying good. Alright. Uh oh! Making loops. Simba after Garrett. Hey. Where'd it go? Well, <laughs> good move. I think we just lost the kite. Turn around, Robert. Robert's head snake off the right door. We're gonna have to have a new battery. Our batteries go down too fast. Where's the bones? You get has he got them? No. Give him bones. Oh, see he's digging now. Let him dig it. Let him put it in the hole. Don't scare him. Simba's burying his bones. We're digging about one. Now he's got two bones. Robert Laura has been our uh, uh, computer guru there at middle school for the last three or four years. Robert taught uh, 29 years in Frederick. And I joined the Frederick School staff in 1967. Um, I graduated in 1968 from high school. Uh, Robert's been there a while. I just want to throw that in. You know, I, everyone thinks I'm 78 years old. It's uh, too bad. It's, it's not my years. It's my mileage. Problem. Taught primarily to middle school. Uh, Robert also uh, came to uh, high school and decided that really, you know, I don't know what it is, what is it about the high school teachers. I don't know. You never taught me But uh, Robert also, uh, and uh, I guarantee Robert what he's going to do is he's going to retire and live off all of the cotton and wheat. <laughs> That, uh, that he's going to make, and uh, it would be nice, Robert, if we all had about 100,000 bushels of wheat right now, we would, we would all be tired. But uh, Robert's taught computer at the middle school, and of course for a lot of years taught uh, math all different levels uh, at the middle school, and uh, uh, Robert is going to retire, but he's, I'm sure he's not going to quit work. He's going to do something a little bit different. And uh, Glenda doesn't want him retired. If Glenda has to go to work, Robert should have to go to work. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. We, you, you might find that there'd be some days that you might have to babysit. <laughs> I don't know. Is that right for now? That's all right. <laughs> Robert, uh, we appreciate you and your service in the district. What would you like to say? Well, I uh, haven't made any long speeches, so I'm not stopping. <laughs> uh, I would like to, I guess I'd like to read in, but I thought I was going to use that. <laughs> 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 but just to remind you that uh, the importance of, of your job teaching. What we are, and the people we it's a very important job. Uh, I don't like baking these cookies, but now it does. See, if you don't cook them long enough, they're going to get done. These kids, I guess, they'll cook them. So, y'all keep cooking.